you can see it's really different to have a mask and have to sing with a mask is, is really hard. And I think it's been pretty frustrating for a lot of kids to try to sing. First of all, you feel like you can't breathe as well. And then you can't hear other people as well when you sing with a mask. And so that can be kind of scary for kids because you feel a lot more lonely. First of all, we're also sitting in the classroom six feet apart. We weren't quite six feet apart outside because it's hard when you take a group outside. They don't really have a marker of where to stand. And people just love being with each other and humans naturally want to be together. And so outside, it's a little bit hard to say social distance, but it's pretty safe, safe outside with our masks. So we just got these. It was pretty disappointing for some of the students not to be able to do the sleigh ride with Santa because the downtown Bozeman celebration every year has been a real highlight for the choirs at Chief Joseph. And so not to be able to do that was a little bit sad for some people. However, the fact that you all were willing to come here and video us and I told them there was going to be a drone camera and it was going to be professional, it's just so exciting for everybody to be professionally recorded. It, it feels like an honor and very special to them. And so there was a lot of kids who showed up who don't normally come to school on Tuesday, uh, who came extra special just to be here uh, for that recording. <laughs> We didn't get to do our November concert because <laughs> it's hard for me to figure out how to actually do a concert right now because we can't have the traditional thing where we bring all of the groups together in front of a live audience. And so just trying to figure out how I'm going to have a Monday, Tuesday, seventh grade sing at the same time as a Thursday, Friday, seventh grade, and then there's two periods each day. So there's actually four seventh grade choirs. The seventh grade choir is split into four parts. It's just a real challenge as a teacher to figure out how you're going to perform or how you're going to have even a recording so that the community can hear what, what we are doing or that we can have some music that we prepare for a polished performance like we're used to. And what I think this year is really asking teachers is to get better at technology. And it's asking students too, that we all have to learn new programs. And sometimes we feel really overwhelmed that we feel like we've learned as much new stuff on the computer as we want to learn. And so we drag our feet a little bit, but I've realized that I need to learn how to use a new software piece that uh, Chelsea Quinones at Morningstar taught me how to use the DaVinci Resolve 
and I just need to record every group and then combine them all so that I can have four choirs singing at the same time. And... <laughs> opportunity to sing holiday songs is is a gift that downtown Bozeman has given our school because holiday songs make everybody just feel a lot better inside we were talking about the movie elf and how he says or, or the elf girl says sing it loud for everyone to hear and it just builds your joy inside when you sing holiday songs together and I could feel that today, and I think the kids could feel it. Just the happiness that music brings you when you sing with other people. So thank you, Downtown Bozeman, for this gift of making the kids feel important and giving them a chance to share their singing gifts. There's so much talent here. There's a lot of kids that really love singing, and this was just an excellent opportunity uh, for them to feel special and also to share their joy of music making and their joy of the holidays coming up. I think everyone's really excited for holidays. Yeah.